Today we're gonna test viral TikTok build hacks to see if they actually work in Minecraft. This one shows us a way to make a cracked glass effect in Minecraft. Like you wanna look like one of those like stores that get hit by someone? You wanna look like your windows got smashed? <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that. But now you can. All right guys, so we're not just gonna be building these build hacks here today. We're gonna be building three at a time and making teams. This right now is Team Gopher. And I think we're going to try to do just a little tiny house. So Team Gopher starts off with a nice broken glass over here, some regular glass here, and we're gonna give each team three total builds and then have Instagram vote on which team is the best. All right, our next build hack coming in here is this very beautiful picture. Now, before I show it to you guys, I want you to imagine all the things it could be. Imagine something so incredible, so beautiful. And now throw it out because it's not incredible or beautiful. It's actually a dead tree. All right, so we've got the facade of our house. Now what we're gonna do, honestly, is start on this side because I feel like I like the sunlight. So it looks like just like this. Love that deep slate, Love deep slate, deep slate. Okay, I'm sorry, it's getting weird. So there's your example of a broken down tree. It's like burnt falls in the ground. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it looks good. And it's really coming together to give this first team here, Team Gopher, a really dilapidated vibe. That's a big word. <laughs> this is like an optical illusion. So on the left here, we're gonna cover up the middle. You see dirt. You're like, okay, okay is that cool? On the right, you see stone. And in the middle, it's stone dirt. To make this illusion work, I don't think you can just cover it or it doesn't look right. So what we gotta do is like, maybe do it like this and kind of like put it in front of the base. Now let's see, if I put them next to each other, does that actually help? Does it look good? The problem is, when it's next to the broken glass, you can tell it's lichen. Lichen, lichen, luchen, luchen, lachen. I'm not sure how to say the word. And when it's over here, it's just slightly a different color to the point where you might recognize it, you might not. It's, it's tough to say, so yeah, well. Definitely could be a winner today. So our next one, guys, here is our new team, Team Sigma. Now you can make secret messages and walls by waxing certain parts of a copper wall. You can make a hidden message. Oh, that's cool. So what we're gonna do here is create a little bit of a wall here for Team Sigma. The problem is people that vote on this are not gonna know the coolness factor. They're just gonna see a smiley face and think, oh, that's kind of dumb. Also, I don't know how the smiley face is gonna look. I think it's gonna be like one of those emojis where the line is straight through the mouth. Like it's not gonna be smiling. I just, I don't know where the things are being placed. It's kind of hard. We're gonna have to let this one play out and come back to this later to see. Which means you gotta stay for the whole video now. See that I tricked you. Now you can't leave. You're stuck here forever. Oh, this is clever. Is that even possible? You're telling me you can put an item frame behind- Wait, what? How did you do this? We're gonna get purple crimson because it contrasts the green better. Well, if you're seeing this message right now, my name is John Jacob. I've been trapped inside this video game by Zach and I need help. All of us are real human beings. We are not slimes. Please help us immediately. What goes first, the painting or the frame? My only other guess is that maybe you open up like a secret doorway and put a painting in it like that. I mean, I don't, I don't see how that's gonna do anything, right? I have literally no idea how this is done. I'm just sitting here looking at a freaking- Purple wall? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. As I tried to place this painting for what felt like 30 minutes, nothing was working. So I came to the conclusion that Mojang patched it. I'm doing everything. I've done it all. I put holes in the back, all right? I drilled through it. I did stuff like this. Team Sigma, y'all are gonna be struggling here today because you got two walls. I, I just feel like this group is not gonna be a winner. Zacklings, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys, but I have to share something absolutely incredible. My brand new plush, Lil Fella, is finally available. Guys, I literally have spent months trying to create the perfect plush for the material, the squish, the cut, the color, the way these little nubby legs are spread out. It's only available for the next 10 days, guys. You can get one right now by clicking the link in the description. Give me a shot and grab one of these today. This is a very exotic design. Doesn't fit in at all to what we're making here. Two walls and a lotus flower, but it does look good, all right? So you can see two variations. I gotta say, having seen these in real life, they are beautiful. What we'll do is we'll make like a little pond right in the front, just like this. Speed water placing right there. I mean the water placing world records. Then we're gonna make um, a shape, which looks like this. Trap door in the middle, and then a lotus. Oh. We need more water, but this is kind of fun. I can see this design in one of two places. One, it's gonna be in the middle of like a beautiful, beautiful forest, just tying the whole place together. And the second one's in the backyard of like an old Karen mom. Uh, this next one's gonna be team, uh, please help me, I'm locked in this video game. It's kind of a weird name. Oh God, oh God, this one's tough. Team, this team is, this team is gonna be a, this one's gonna be a doozy, isn't it? You give me, you give me three easy ones, then you come in and make a full on piano. The speed this guy's building it shows me that this is someone who has built multiple pianos in his days. So we're gonna time it. So that guy took 30 seconds, starts right now. I'm gonna take more time getting the items than this guy even took to make it. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do here is dig a hole, and then it looked like about three snows, some armor stands, dragon heads. How do I do this? How do you get the staircases down? Interesting, it actually comes out a little bit. Doesn't do it right there. Okay, okay, that's unique. I think we're, I think we're losing the challenge, by the way. Please, help us, please. 
This isn't a joke. Please help us. All right, guys. Now we got to make the rooftop of this piano. So let's do something like this. And that was not what I meant to do. Okay. This is going to be tough. I don't really know how far this thing is supposed to come out. And what goes in the middle? Like, I feel like maybe something like that. Give it a little flavor, huh? A little something like that. And then like a little bit of a chair. I think a white chair because it's classy. That's not bad. I mean, that's a, that's an interesting build for sure. We are, we're making a weird combo here, guys, on this, uh, the next team here. I'm not sure. We got a piano and now another kind of like Sims related item. It appears to be a functional chessboard. Let's see what the final version looks like. Wow, it's like legit. How did you make, what, how, what, what? How do we go from this to this to this? First thing's a hole. Well, now it gets hard. Not even sure where these are. This is wrong. Nobody should invent this. Get an armor stand in each. Just one. Not too many. Keep it healthy. Now it gets even weirder because I built all of these wrong. Okay, now we do redstone. All right, so this is what we're at right now. Chainmail goes on all of these guys. This must be how the pioneers made chess boards back in the day. Like back in like the 1950s. It's a, it's a very fluent build. It very much uses the redstone here in a nice way. So push it in. That actually is kind of like a perfect chess board. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, if your chess board's made of circles that aren't even in this perfect. Okay, so then we're going to get our chess pieces just like that. One there. Excuse me. And one right there. Now that is a very classy chess table and it could also pass off as a romantical date with your partner. It could be like, hey babe, I'm feeling romantical tonight. A literal hydraulic press. We got a piano, a chess board, and a freaking hydraulic press. What? Oh, I see it. This is the press. What's the final version look like? Oh. You know what? That's actually kind of decent. It looks like one of them little presser boys. It'll go down and go. Pretty cheap design, though. You're gonna come in here with a uh, block Bruh. of netherite. Looks like a dispenser's on the side for literally no reason, but why not? A couple frames. Gotta keep it safe. Can't let OSHA come and get us here. Now can we? So that's your hydraulic press build. It looks kind of industrial. I don't think if anyone ever showed me this, I'd walk up to it and be like, Boy, that's a nice looking hydraulic press you got there, man. I'm really impressed by that. I'd probably be like, wow. Why'd you place a bunch of random blocks in the corner with compasses? All right, guys, Team Apple's coming up next. Oh, the bunk bed build, a very popular build that I've seen on TikTok. Um, it's basically got an aquarium in the back. Like, this is pretty incredible. And if we skip to the end here, look at that. I mean, it's not even a bunk bed, to be honest. It's like a bed with a literal bed on top of it. So there's gonna be two beds here. Okay, there's our two beds. Okay, that is a decent start for this. We just gotta go ahead and get this whole thing like a little white treatment here. All right, so there's behind the bed. I think it looks okay right now. I'd definitely be comfortable sleeping right here. Ladder's gonna go up on the side. Very unique design here with the old barrel ladder. You don't see that too often. Maybe one higher. I feel like one higher is good because then if you do one higher, then you can cover up all this water here. This is actually like not easy to make. I just want you guys to know before you judge me. Uh, this is a, a difficult journey to be building. Okay, so there's our bed. It, it really doesn't look too bad. Like it's got like a definitely like a cozy vibe to it. All right, let's see what we got here now. It says test maze design. Oh, is he making a maze using stairs? Oh, that's kind of clever. Oh, it's like a test maze, like an animal laboratory testing maze. Oh, that's creative. So it seems like you kind of just randomly place this. I mean, I don't know how to make a maze. So like, we're just gonna... <laughs> that's pretty... Oh, right, that doesn't look like a maze. It looks like a middle finger. Okay, well, I think I made a maze. I'm not really sure what you call this thing. It's more of a straight line with two turns in it, but it gets the job done. So then we're going to do a barrel and a barrel. Well, that doesn't work, does it? I was trying to make my own creative maze. It just, it's not a good idea. Hmm, it's not great. Let's put the rabbit in there. Oh, come on, get in there now. There we go. Rabbit's in the cage. Rabbit's in the cage. Get the roof on it. Oh my gosh, look, the rabbit actually goes in the cage. Look at how crazy this is. Please, we're not joking. We're real people. We're not actually Steve's. We need your help. Oh, it's just like literally building like miniature buildings and stuff using stairs. Wow, this mini village is so incredibly detailed. So I'm going to use this as like a reference, but I'm going to try to make my own style. Although we know how that pays off. I was trying to make my own creative maze. It just is not a good idea. So I think these are mostly what we need. So we'll just add like a winding path, you know, try to try to make it look natural. Okay. And then we're going to do our well. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Crap. There we go. Okay, so that's our well in the center. It looks very nice. And then to make the houses, I think it was like this. Very creative way to make a little miniature house, isn't it? Like, it, it gets the job done, doesn't it? We could make some little trees. Little baby trees. This would be kind of a fun little thing to play in. I don't know. Like, as a kid, if I saw this, I would freak out. Weird to actually plant grass like this, like, instead of using bone meal. But I feel like at a small scale, you have to. Get that bell in there. You know, the city doesn't look complete until we get a bell in there. That is really cool, guys. And that's Team Apple, which now leads us to, I believe, the final team here before we get to voting and see what Instagram likes the most. So we're starting with a basketball court that includes a basketball jump pad. What exactly does that mean? All right, make the hoop. We know how to do that. It's gonna be slime with redstone all around it. Dang, that's a cool build. So he just makes a slime bouncer that lets Kobe. you slam dunk into a net. I don't, know, I don't know how high to make it, so we'll just kind of estimate probably about there. 
Then we just need to make a little uh, redstone bumper right here, which should be pretty easy to do. So I think we'll do like right here. So we'll do a piston here with slime on it. Redstone here, redstone here. If I put grass in a block, is that all it takes? Obviously, I forgot the slime would pick everything up, so I gotta do it like this. Now we should be able to dunk, so let's get our basketball out here and see if it works. I don't know if I'm gonna get the right distance, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> there it is. I would say that's a successful dunk right there. That's definitely going in. Coming in with a very elegant solution to deck out the inside of your house, folks. The interior cage for the birds. Oh, look, yeah, we're gonna slam glass on their heads. Oh, it's like a little thing spitting out a chain to hold them. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. That's adorable. All right, so we need a wall. I think we're just gonna do one in the middle because like, well, it's, that's not even even. All right, this will be the middle. Get a parrot here. There we go. And then we're gonna slam it down with a little bit of a piston. I don't know if I gotta push it down twice. That appears as though I do. Yo, wait a minute. This is pushing the entire thing. It's pushing down the... That's not supposed to happen. That doesn't even make sense. Dude, look at that. It's actually pushing the trap door down. This one's not working for us. Oh, a mini nether biome. So far, I'm liking the design. I think that centerpiece is going to be some lava in there. That's pretty clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Little trees. Oh, he put it... How did he... So he made an item frame portal. I mean, the amount of time he took to make that is pretty high. All right, first thing we must do is create our foundation. Our beautiful lava lake in the middle. I am realizing now that I placed the wrong blocks down, so I can't actually place anything on them. That was a mistake. All right, there's our little miniature nether, and I think that came together well. It kind of sucks that their uh, little piston bird cage didn't work. So guys, let's recap real quick before we show you who actually won in the voting. Yes. Our very first build of the day was Team Gopher, which had these three insane builds. My favorite was the Cracked Glass. Team Sigma was our second one with the Amazing Lotus and a couple of others that didn't work. We've got Team Please Help Me, I'm Trapped in a Video Game with these three builds. And then our second to last team was Team Apple with a couple of mini builds and finally Team Toaster, which we just did. Now, we're gonna get the poll out there to Instagram and see what they like. So guys, after leaving up the voting for a full 24 hours, here's the results. Our winner of the 2021 Viral Build Hack Team was Team Apple. Congratulations if you guys picked Team Apple. Peace.